Okay, so now we're finding surface area of this triangular what? Prism. Prism. A couple of things you want to notice. These lines here mean what? They're equal. That they're equal. So what do we know about this little piece back here? It's, square. it's a square. It's five as one length. So let's go ahead and find area of my square. Formula for area of a square. Base times height, S times S, S squared, length times width. Choose whichever one you like. My side length is 5. 5 squared is? 25 miles squared. That's part of my answer. And then I would go ahead and shade it in to remind yourself that you've already answered that little portion. What would you like to solve next? Because I see one rectangle and two rectangles. And then we've got triangles. So what would you like to do first? Triangles. Area of triangles. Now, are these triangles going to be the same size? No. Yes. Yes. Since they are the base of my shape here, then they are exactly the same size. So let's go ahead and look at this front one. So area of uh, area formula is half base times height. What's the base? Sure. 13. And 5 is my height? Mm, not quite. Actually, how is, yeah, 13 cannot be my base because, remember, we want to look for my right angle. It's got to be 5 is my height, and then the one attached to it is my base. So 12 is my base. Let's change that. That's 12. Either one works, but 5 would probably be my height. If I flipped it around, you can see that because this is my right angle, this would be my base, and this is my height. Okay. So, half of 12? Six. Sure, 6 times 5? 30. 30. Now, 30 is the front triangle. So the back one is also 30, so what do I need to do? Well, I can't just shade it in. I have to double it. Good. 60 miles squared. Am I done? No. Not yet. There are two rectangles. Now we need to decide, are they the same size? Yeah, the no. only reason they would be the same size is if my triangles were equilateral. But you notice that the bottom of this guy is 13, which means the bottom is also 13 here. But if we're looking at this rectangle, what do we notice? Well, this 12. is 12. So they are going to be different. So we're going to do area of bottom rectangle. That's fine. You can call it whatever you'd like. The bottom one is area equals length times width or base times height. The base we can call 13. So where do I get the height from? Five, right here. Or on the other side. Or on the other side works. 13 times 5? 65. Agree or disagree? Okay. It would have been nice if they were the same size, but unfortunately they're not. So we do one more time. Area of top rectangle. And I promise it makes it so much easier if you keep everything organized. If you just have work thrown all over the place, then you're going to be real sad. Okay, so area equals base times height. The base for this one is? Good, 12. And the height? Still 5. 12 times 5? 60 miles squared. Now am I finished?
Add them all together. All together. So, wait, what? 25 and 60, 65 and 60. 25, 65, and 120. <clears throat> What'd you get? I got 210. So did I. 210 what? Miles squared. It's area.